beaters, it's Gina from OrchidandOpal.com and I'm so excited to bring you my third and final Bosses Bead Bag from Fire Mountain Gems. This is a mixed bag of very random beads, 90% of which I'm probably not going to use. But a couple times a year, Fire Mountain Gems runs a special where these bags are only $5. So for five bucks, it's not a big deal. I'm the type of person that likes to sort through these things. It really doesn't take me that long. The majority of the response on my first two videos was very positive. You guys loved watching me sort through these bags. You loved seeing what I found in these bags. There were a few of you who, I'm just gonna say it, were a little bit hostile. I mean, so if you can't stand these bags, plain and simple, just don't watch the majority of you. Let's get into it. If you haven't seen the first two videos I've done, please go back and watch those. I explain way more about these bags, why I purchased them, and you'll get a better feel for the types of things I found. So just like in the last two videos, I'm gonna open this up. We'll start going through some things together. Then I'll speed it up. I'll put some of it to music if you wanna watch that. And then at the very end, I'll do the evaluation. I will have everything bagged up in different categories of size beads and whatnot that will look a lot less chaotic. And we'll see if I got any matches to the first two bags. So let's jump in here and find out what's inside. You just never know what you're gonna get. The things that are usable that I found were definitely worth the $5 to me, but everybody's different and you have to decide for yourself if it's worth it to you. Here's one of the first things in the bag. So you'll know I got one of these in my previous bags as well. So now I have three of these, but it's just a nice charm set that says love. So I'm gonna set that aside. And here's our bag full of one pound of beads and findings. So if you don't like chaos and you don't, <laughs> if the mess is something you can't stand temporarily while I'm sorting through it, then this may not be the video for you. Like I said, it'll go fast. At the end of the video, I'll show everything bagged up and organized. All right, here we go. I'm gonna crack into this and see what we have. All right. I had never opened these before, and I know a lot of you haven't, so to me, it's well worth the $5 to be able to share with you what you can find inside and decide for yourself if this is something you'd want to get in the future. So I'm seeing some very interesting things. I'm gonna pull out some of these really chunky beads first and set them aside. This looks like a piece of amethyst, which is cool, but I don't see any hole on it. And it's a really odd shape, so I'm not sure if I'll be using that. I'm gonna set that aside. Just gonna pull out some of these larger beads because I started sorting through these things by size. And I've said it before, these are awesome for kids if you have any kids that are into crafting or if you want them to have some beads to play with that you don't mind them playing with. For $5, this might be a good activity to get them involved in and to get them excited about maybe doing a little treasure hunt and finding some things to help them create. That's a pretty cool bead. So I've gotten several of these findings in in the first couple of bosses bead bags which I was excited about these are some earring findings so I'm gonna set this aside so that I can put those with my other matches and you guys I'm so thrilled to see more of these tubes in this particular bag because as I stated in my last video you could be surprised at the inspiration you'll find in this five dollar bag that initially looks like a whole bunch of junk I never would have made this particular necklace design had I not gotten these tubes in the past. So I'm not gonna go into more detail about that because I talked about those in the last video, but I'm so excited to get more of those tubes because they're not something that I had or would have really thought to buy and I was able to come up with something totally new. So that right there is worth the $5 to me. There's also quite a few of these little bells. We've gotten some of them in the past two boxes, which would be cute for some crafting. This ring is nice. It could be a cool connector. I wish there was another one in there. But that was the nice thing about getting three bags is I did find quite a few matches in my second bag that I went through that matched things that were in my first bag. Oh, awesome. So I had one of these in my last bags as well, and I talked about how I'd love to do some brick stitching, like a brick stitch chevron, and connect it to this piece at the bottom, which might be hard for you to picture, but that could make something really nice. Here's another one of those little needles, little interesting bezel or something for 
a cabochon, could be used in some bead embroidery. Also, if you're not sure what to do with mixed beads, look up bead soup jewelry and you will find a lot of ideas where you think you may have a pile of junk right here, but you can take all the different multicolored glass beads and create something really nice. So all I'm saying is I'm not trying to convince you to buy these. If you can't stand them, that's okay. It doesn't hurt my feelings. I'm just giving you some suggestions so you don't automatically write this off before considering and having an open mind to the various possibilities that are here in what looks like a jumbled mess. Here's another one of those earring findings. There's a few little gemstone beads. Okay, so like I did with the past two videos, I'm going to speed this up while I sort through and organize this pile. If you don't wanna watch that, feel free to skip over to the end to see everything organized and cleaned up and to get the final results of what I found. Otherwise, I hope you have a great day. For those of you who wanna stick with me, enjoy the music and let's get sorting. So this is it. These are the things that stood out most to me about what I'm excited about that I'll be able to use. And you'll see a lot of these are findings. So there's a ton of findings, not just random beads, but I also like to see what kind of earring components and connectors I can find in these as well. So I was excited to find some matches, as you can see, and some bead caps. I also found some more matches to a few of the beads that I really liked from the first two bags. We got another set of love charms. I got 
got more of these tubes and another chevron, which is great. We got a few beads that appear to be gemstones. Here's some amethyst. These four all match, which is nice. And then besides all that, I have a mat next to me full of a bunch of random findings, mostly jump rings that I wasn't going to go through and pull over here and some other things. I also have these four bags of beads. They're mostly glass. A lot of people were complaining, oh, I only got plastic beads in mine. There were a few plastic beads in mine in my three bags, but the majority are random glass beads and wood beads. I put all the wood beads in a bag and I kind of separated the glass and the other few plastic beads by size. That's just how I wanted to sort through them. So like I said, a lot of these things I'm not going to use as far as the things that I have bagged up. However, they are great for kids and they are great for art teachers. A couple of you pointed that out to me in the comments the last time. I think that's a fantastic idea. You can donate them to somebody who has kids or who is a teacher. I'm sure they'd be appreciative of getting extra supplies and materials. I'd definitely wait for the sale that they run a couple times a year where these are five dollars if you are going to get them my other suggestion is to pick up more than one because I was able to get matches between my three bags which really kind of added some value to me because instead of just having one of these beads for example that I really liked now I have five or six and I'll be able to do something with them so keep those suggestions in mind I'll also try to alert you when I see the next five dollar sale I do have an alert set up on my email so hopefully when the next one comes up it will stand out to me and I can share it with you. I will probably post it on my community tab, so make sure you're getting the notifications from me. Hit that little bell. I hope you guys enjoyed going through the third and final boss's bead bag with me. It's always a fun little treasure hunt. Please feel free to let me know down below if you've ever gotten one of the boss's bead bags, what your thoughts on them are, or if there's anything in this one in particular that stood out to you. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day, and as always, happy beading. If you enjoyed this this video I'd love for you to give it a big thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of my latest videos check out the information section under the video for links to my social media handles and other helpful info and feel free to check out my shop at orchidinopal.com thanks for watching